Welcome back to UAV drone design. Okay, so uh, in this uh, tutorial, we're going to uh, split the split the flaps from the plane and then create their own individual file so we can uh, edit it in our assembly and create our animation. Um, However, before we split the, these front flaps, we need to uh, get to the rear flaps here. And then we need to uh, add our hinges here as well. We already added here, which we can uh, use in our uh, assembly. Okay, so we need to add it to the rear as well. Uh, but before we do that, we need to add a perpendicular plane so we can extrude uh, along the wing. Okay, so uh, let's create that. So let's exit the sketch. Okay, so let's go to plane. And then we're going to choose this line. And then possibly this point here no okay so uh, what we're going to do we're just going to grab a 3d sketch let's grab a center line and then we're just going to snap on uh, this one and this one here exit the sketch and let's grab the let's grab our plane now. Let's grab a plane. Let's choose the line, and uh, let's choose the point. Okay, so now we are perpendicular. Okay, so now we're going to uh, get to this plane. Let's sketch on this plane. Of course, we need to flip it down. Okay. So our cut is going through that way. Let's flip it back over. Okay, so the cut is going through about here. So we're going to add our hinge about here. We don't need big, about that much. Exit that one. Okay. And now we're just going to do a cut extrude extrude and we're going to choose mid plane mid plane and uh, let's bring this back so we need we need both of our arrows so let's check how much we're going in on this end let's bring this out a little bit more all the way into there as we do that, so we don't go that much into that way. About that much. Let's see how we're doing on this side. Um, let's see that. If we come about that much. Let's just choose blind. Okay, that's a lot better. Let's choose this one the back. Pull that one back. Okay, let's come up about that much. So let's look at back here now. Okay, we're looking good. All right, I'm going to press OK on that. And that is perfect. Okay, so now we have our hinges over there, which is perpendicular. Okay, so now we're just going to mirror this over very quickly. And uh, of course, we're going to choose our front plane. Uh, we're going to choose our features. It's down here. And it added over to there very nicely. So press OK on that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we're going to uh, come to the uh, split command. So if you don't have this uh, command line 
up on your tool, but you can simply edit by uh, customize in the gear icon. And under more tools, under more tools, you find this command uh, here. So it's this one here, split line. So you just drag it up here for yourself if you don't have it. Okay. So that's that. And uh, yeah, so let's choose our split command. And then we're going to choose for the split tools, we're going to choose the sketches. And then make sure that you have consume cut buddies. You can always come back and change it if you want to uh, add additional parts to your uh, splitted uh, bodies. So uh, let's uh, say cut bodies. Okay. Perfect. And now we're going to name each and every one of these flaps so that uh, we know what's what. Okay, so number one. Number one is the front right flap. So double click uh, the tab and I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to call it front R flap front right flap okay I'm going to press save and then a second one is going to be the the rear rear right flap so let's name that rear R flap okay and then Number three is the rear left flap. It's the rear left flap. So let's double click that. So rear L, L flap. Save that. And number four is going to be the body. Okay, so we're going to leave that. We're not going to uh, create because we, this is the actual body for it. So number five then is the front is the front uh, left flap. Okay, so let's uh, name that. Okay, so that is front left flap. Press OK on that okay so um yeah so let's click on the let the solidworks create these uh, individual files okay so now it's just going to create all of these five files for you okay Perfect. Okay, I it did it. Okay, so now we we can do is uh, come in here and hide this one. We don't need and hide this little line here as well and hide our sketch. Okay, so things are a lot more cleaner. Uh, so you can always bring it back. Uh, you bring these flags back if you need it, just by going back to your split command in the future tree and then. Uh, uncheck consume bodies okay so we have our hinge holes here which is good okay and uh, one more thing we need to do is uh, we need to uh, cut extrude and we need to cut out these uh, the lower one and uh, create our uh, extruded cut through it so let's do that so we're going to sketch on the front plane is probably going to the middle is not going to be good for us so let's see uh plane seven that we created earlier that's good so let's choose plane seven sketch and then let's flip it around so we can see all right then we're just going to uh, grab a line here and just starting from this end all the way down here we're going to come out and then something 
from here. Okay. All right. So press OK on that. And then I think we're going to bring this line back in. Something like this. Well, that would be that's good enough. Okay, uh, I'm going to press OK on that, and then we're going to offset this line and uh, not one millimeter. About uh, uh, yeah, let's do one millimeter, and we cut off from this uh, housing uh, a little bit. That's no problem. Okay, so I'm going to press OK on that, and I'm just going to go to uh, actually let's go back. And uh, we're going to choose a bit less because I don't like it's too thick. So saying 0 0.5, uh, that's a lot better. And it will cut off a little bit from that still, but that's fine. So I'm just going to say OK on that. And then let's go over to Futures. And cut Extrude. And we're going to cut through the whole thing. Press OK on that. I'm going to choose all bodies. That's good. And now we just need to, uh, because it's a straight cut, we don't need to make any perpendicular uh, uh, perpendicular planes for this uh, to work. So we're going to go to uh, this face. And we're just going to sketch on this face. Let's flip it over. Make sure we can see it better. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's zoom in. So it's going to start from about here. So let's make a circle somewhere about here. That's good. Some in the middle. And let's zoom and see what we have. And where we have this circle. That's in a perfect place. Okay. And then we're just going to do uh, the feature. We cut extrude. And of course, we're going to keep it on blind. Come all the way up here like that. Bring this down. And bring this all the way into that but this body here. So let's come all the way up here. That's good. Let's have a look at this side. That's perfect. I'm gonna press again okay that. Okay. And now we're of course we're going to go back and create our split bodies for this part. So uh, quickly, we're just going to go down here and then grab our sketch back. You show. Okay. And then we're going to make another sketch on a plane 17. So sketch. And then, of course, we're going to choose the outside line for our convert entities. So let's choose this line, this line, this line, the line. And this line, and uh, say OK on that. That's perfect. And now we can hide our uh, hide our uh, double sketches, which we used to cut extrude. We don't need that. So this was this. Let's hide that. So now we have left off with the single sketch is what we need to create our uh, our split body. So uh, let's go quickly to split body. And for split trim tool, we're going to use this sketch and uh, make sure consume bodies is checked. We're going to choose cut bodies. And then we're going to name not number one is the body, so number two. And we're going to name that tail flap. Flap. Okay. Save it to desktop and press OK on that. That's solid works, do its work.